Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. All praises, honor, and glory be to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Hakodash. Double honors to our apostles at Great Millstone, who will teach well through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And peace, love, and mercy be unto the elect Akim that are throughout the four corners of the world, who push the truth of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai diligently and sincerely. And you few sisters that are out there, you know, that subscribe to uh, Great Millstone, a peace be unto you. The Lord is going to confound the gods of these nations. The way that he confounded the gods of Egypt. I just watched a video, which I'm going to probably have this video running through uh, the video that I'm making. You know, just to show you that uh, these other nations are bugged out. And Japan... They're having a celebration, worshiping a wooden phallic, which is a wooden penis. And they're rubbing it for good luck. As if it can bring them good fortune. As if it's a God that can <laughs> benefit them. And this, um, this isn't a, a, a new tradition. You know, this is an ancient, ancient tradition. You know, pretty much all of these nations once worshipped phallic symbols. You got the Egyptians that did it, the Babylonians. You know, you got um, Moab and Ammon. And first off, if, if these people that claim to be Jews were the true people of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, and they were the chosen and they're, you know, they being set up in their kingdom and, and, and getting the land, this wouldn't be going on. You know, hey, the scriptures tells you in the book of uh, Jeremiah, the, the 16th chapter, verse uh, 19, that when we're establishing our land, that the other, the other nations, being the Gentiles, are going to flow unto us and, and say unto us, surely, our fathers have inherited lies. This is Jeremiah 16 and 19. Oh, yeah, how are my strength and my uh, fortress, fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction? The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies. Vanity in things wherein there is no profit. And what is that? That's worshiping all of these other gods. It says, Shall a man make gods unto himself? And they are no gods. You know, so... These phallic symbols and these other deities that men are created, whether they be wood or whether they be overlaid with gold or silver, they're not gods. And here it is. You got these gooks, these gutter rats. You got the children of, uh, of uh, Moab and Ammon, you know, which are incense babies. You know, they eat the creeping things of the earth. They eat rodents. And they, they look down on us and they despise us. They were joined together. In that company of uh, Psalms 883, you know, they were joined together, you know, to bring down the children of Israel. To try to cause our remembrance to cease, you know, because they were jealous. They were envious of us. You know, which we, at, at some point in time, you know, we worship, you know, idols as well. You still got a lot of our people that are worshiping idols today. Wood and stone in this, in this captivity that we're in. You know, which we push these videos out, you know, to call as many of our people that that are in that to come out of that madness. You know, which they're going to be destroyed, but because they're blinded and their ears are dull and they don't want to hear our message. They don't want to come back to the true power. But eventually all the people in the world are, are going to are going to come into the worship of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because the Most High Heavenly Father is going to do unto the idols of the world the same things that he done unto uh, the Egyptians when he confounded all of the gods of the of the Egyptians. You know, and you can find that in uh, Exodus, the 12th chapter, verse 12, which I, I'll read that right now. It says, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the for firstborn of the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am, I am Yahweh, because they pretty much had a God for everything. 
They had a God for the sun, the God for the moon, a God for water, a God for animals, you know, God for the flies, God for the harvest, you know, and I believe there was uh, 10 different gods that they were worshiping, you know, so there were 10 different plagues that came upon Egypt and those plagues were to confound the gods of Egypt. You know, because when certain things were happening, they would call to those different gods for help. And that's the same thing that's going to happen during this time that we're living in right now. You know, these nations are going to call upon their gods for help. When the Lord comes down, you know, he sends his son and he judged the world. And they're going to they're going to uh, uh, put succor into those deities desiring for them to save them. But but they but they won't save them. They won't come. To, to deliver them from the hand of the Most High Heavenly Father because he's the true power. So uh, uh, going back to uh, Zephaniah, which I didn't read, but I'm going to read Zephaniah 2 and 9 on down. It says, Therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh of hosts, the power of Israel, surely Moab shall be as Sodom and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah. You know, the um, fat boy and little man uh, which which was a bomb that was dropped on on uh, Japan, which would be the children of Ammon today, by the U.S. is nothing compared to what the Most High Heavenly Father is going to do unto them. It says even the bre the breeding of nettles and salt pits in a perpetual desolation, the residue of my people shall spoil them, and the remnant of my people shall possess them. So they uh, the ones that don't get destroyed. Of the children of Moab and Ammon, they're going to be a possession unto the nation of Israel. They're going to be slaves. They're going to be, uh, 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 they're going to be our servants in the kingdom of heaven. You know, because these people here it is, they're sl they're slanted eyed, uh, uh, Down syndrome looking, low life, sc uh, scum of the earth, children of incest. You know. Who who eat their who eat babies, who eat dogs, who eat cats, who eat the creeping things of the earth, bugs and 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 rodents, but then they try to look down on us. They try to have a lot of pride against us, as if we're as if we're, we're the people that's disgusting. It says, "This shall they have for their pride, because they have reproached and magnified themselves against the people of of Yahweh of hosts." So even upon Moab and Ammon is going to come the judgment of the Most High because of their pride and because they magnified themselves against his children, his inheritance, his people. This is the point. It says, Yahweh will be terrible unto them and he will famish all the gods of the earth and men shall worship him, every one from his place, even all the isles of the heathen. So all of the heathen that are throughout the world are going to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai once our kingdom is established. And, and, and the, the beginning of that is going to be when the Most High comes and he, and he judged this world through his son and through all of the great judgments that he bring upon this earth. You know, the great terrible things which are going to happen in the day of the Lord when, when he moves with his wrath upon this world. And he's going to confound all of the gods of these nations, the same way that he did with the gods of Egypt. And they're going to know that their gods are no gods, that they're just wood and stone, that they're just phallics, that they're just, just penises, wooden penises. And there's no good luck or good fortune that can come from them. And I looked into that word famish, and the word famish goes into famine. And um, I thought upon it. And, you know, these people, they, they, I don't know if they still do it today, which, yeah, they still do it today. You know what? Because I, I work near a Vietnamese shop and they will put hot Cheetos and, and oranges and grapes and Skittles on a plate for their idol, which was Buddha. So they still, they still, uh, sacrifice animals and, 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 and offer food to their deities and to this day. Well, they're not going to do that anymore. Why? Because they're going to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, so even though these these deities can't eat because they don't have real mouths to feed themselves, they don't have bellies, they don't have an area to where after they eat the food would would uh would would leave out of them. You know. 
but but this is on, on in the most highest part he's basically mo mocking the gods of these other nations but the most high is gonna when he when he judges place there's not gonna be any more worshiping of them so no there's not gonna be anyone or any people sacrificing of, of flesh or sacrificing their children like these heathens do and giving food into these gods and these idols they're gonna be completely confounded these idols aren't going to come and save you when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai brings his wrath upon you to judge you for all of your wickedness, which you never thought would come upon you. You know, because the Most High was long suffering and he didn't come and move against you, you know, and he allowed you to touch the apple of his eye. You know, the Most High Heavenly Father is going to destroy these nations with their idols and the remnant of these nations that don't get destroyed they're going into slavery under his people the children of israel which which are the people that are despised today so the remnant the elect is going to possess them you know the elect of the so-called negroes the so-called latinos and so-called native americans and the rest of the israelite foreigners you know that are scattered throughout the four corners of the world that are part of the lord's elect hope this video was edifying to the next time, Shalom.